Valentine's Day is over, but area florists still have a lot of work to do. Our Takiya Cummings popped into the flower shop to see what keeps them going the rest of the year. In the days after Valentine's Day, it's not unusual to see bare shelves at your local florist. Even though the rush is over, Wanda Baldwin at Noita's Green Thumb in Columbus says there's still plenty of work to do. We have a steady business always because there's all kinds of occasions that people send flowers for. They send flowers for an illness, a birthday, an anniversary, somebody's had a death, that type thing. We're a very busy shop. Monty King owns Flowers by the Bunch. She says between a busy Valentine's Day and recent supply chain issues, don't be surprised if you don't see the exact type of flowers you're looking for. So now this year it was a little hard because with COVID, and I know that sounds funny, we're two years into COVID, right? But with COVID, the production of flowers is still very hard. I mean, we're having issues with receiving the right colors and receiving the right flowers. And I tell my brides up front, I can do this style but I'm not going to guarantee these flowers because I can only guarantee what I can get, you know, and you can't guarantee it. So you're just going to, I'll give you your style and we'll make it as beautiful as possible. King wants customers to know that even though they may be low on supply, the quality will always be high. So everything goes through a process of taking care of the flowers and, and making sure they're hydrated and taken well care of. Absolutely, we're going to throw some flowers away, but we have to make sure that they're the top of the top because we want you to receive the freshest flowers you possibly can. In Starkville, Takiya Cummings, WCBI News. And Mother's Day is the next busiest holiday, and our florist suggests that you order early if there's something special you want for mom.